Welcome to Teaching Reading Strategies, Training Module 1, Whole Class Instruction. The purpose of this training module is to demonstrate the four whole class components of the Teaching Reading Strategies Intervention Program. Even though the individual results of the 13 diagnostic whole class reading assessments will pinpoint the diversity of reading needs within your class, not all remedial reading intervention should consist of small group or individualized instruction. Whole class direct instruction remains the most efficient and effective means to teach the alphabetic code and syllabication skills. Both non-readers and remedial reading students need a solid phonics foundation to make significant and rapid reading progress. Frequently, poor readers have gaps in their understanding and application of the English sound spelling system that need to be filled before they can become skillful readers. Expecting students to read well without comprehensive decoding skills or with the overuse of sight word and context clue band-aids is like sending a carpenter out to complete a job with a half-empty toolbox. In the Teaching Reading Strategies program, Whole class reading instruction includes four components of interactive instruction. The animal sound spelling cards, sound by sound spelling blending, vowel transformers, and syllabication. In 10 to 20 minutes per day during the first 18 weeks of instruction, students will learn all of the skills necessary to decode both simple and complex phonetically regular words, perfect for a half year intensive or full year reading intervention program. To maximize learning in whole class reading activities, maintain a quick instructional pace to keep students engaged and stick to the allotted instructional minutes detailed in the instructional design and lessons. Each whole class instructional component requires whole class response. Teach students to respond in a soft yet audible voice. Tell students that they may not whisper, but they also may not shout. Award participation points and or incentives to maintain motivation. The first whole class instructional component consists of the 43 animal sound spelling cards. Students must master the names and speech sounds, that is the phonemes, on all 43 animal sound spelling cards within the first two weeks of instruction. Students also practice, but won't yet master, the spellings of each of the sounds. Each of the cards has a picture, sound, and spellings of the phoneme. Unlike many phonics programs, the beginning sound of the animal name perfectly matches the sound listed on each card. For example, the bear card represents the B. Your students will love the common and uncommon animals pictured on these cards. Each animal has a corresponding fluency and reading comprehension article describing the physical characteristics of the animal, the animal's habitat, what the animal eats, the animal's family, interesting facts, and the status of the species, whether endangered or not. Using the projector, display the animal sound spelling cards and introduce each of the animal names, pointing to the pictures as you say the names of each animal. Teach your students to respond with the animal name after you point to the picture and say name. Play the animal names chant while you display the cards. Students say the animal name as you point to each picture. Card number one. Name? Ape. Card number two. Name? Eagle. Continue practice until most students have mastered each of the names on the cards. Next, teach the sounds of these cards. Tell students that the slanted lines, before and after a letter or letters, indicates a sound, not a letter name or names. Display the animal sound spelling cards and introduce each of the sounds, pointing to the sound as you say the sound indicated on the card. Teach your students to respond with the sound after you point to the sound and say sound. Play the animal names and sounds chant while you display the cards. Students say the animal names after you point to the picture and say name. Card number one. Students say the animal sound as you point to name. each sound. A. Sound. A. Card number two.
continue practice until most students have mastered each of the names and sounds on the cards. After students have mastered each of the names and sounds on the animal sound spelling cards, teach the spellings of each card. Tell students that the blanks in the spellings mean that another letter or letters must be placed in the blanks to form syllables. Play the animal names, sound, and spellings chant while you display the cards. Students say the animal name after you point to the picture and say name. Students say the animal sound as you point to each sound. Students say each letter and blank of the spellings as you point to the spelling or spellings. Card number one. Name, ape, sound. Continue practice until all a. students have mastered each of the names, sounds, and spellings of the cards. Students must a. master y. the names, sounds, a. and spellings e. by the end of the a. eighth I. week of blank. instruction. E. The second whole class instructional activity is sound by sound spelling blending. This is introduced in the third week of instruction for both the full year and half year intensive programs. In the daily 10-minute sound-by-sound spelling blending activity, students will learn all of the common sound spellings over the first 18 weeks of instruction at a pace of three spelling sets per week. Although some students may already have mastered most of these sound spellings, this reinforcement ensures a solid foundation in the alphabetic code. The sound-by-sound -sound spelling blending sequence of instruction has been carefully designed to reflect years of reading research and teaching experience. Use a dry erased whiteboard or butcher paper for the sound-by-sound -sound spelling blending activity. Write consonant sounds in black marker and vowel sounds in red. Make sure to clip, not elongate, the consonant sounds. For example, don't say B for B. Let's practice how to teach the sound-by-sound -sound spelling blending on the first spelling set. A, M, T, and S. The short vowel, A, is on the anteater card. The consonant m is on the mouse card. The consonant t is on the tiger card. And the consonant s is on the seagull card. Follow this script for the first sound by sound spelling blending activity. Today we are going to learn to blend the sounds for these spellings A, M, T, and S. Please say and blend the sounds I write to make words. Don't shout, but don't whisper either. Use your six inch voices. First, I write the spelling, then you say the sound. For example, if I write M, I will ask sound, and mm. you will answer mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Let's add on to that sound. Sound, A, A. 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 Short sound, A. 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 Blend. Ma. Sound t -t -t -t. blend mat word mat. mat sound s blend mats word mats On the first three days of each week, begin the class by blending two or three words from the previous day's blending activity. Then introduce the spellings and practice the sound spelling blending words from one set of the sound by sound spelling blending instructional sequence. Review all three sound spelling sets on the remaining day or days of that week, that is Thursday and or Friday. The 54 Sam and Friends phonics books correspond to the instructional sequence and should be assigned as homework, that is three books per week, to reinforce the sound spellings introduced in the sound by sound spelling activity each week. If additional class time is available, teachers may wish to use these books in class as well, especially if an instructional aide or parent volunteers are available to read with your students. The third whole class instructional activity is introduced in the ninth week of instruction for both the full year and half year intensive programs. 
students practice the Val Transformers daily for five weeks. Val Transformers is an interactive whole class activity designed to teach the open, closed, silent, final E and Val team syllable rules. The rules are learned inductively through examples. Nonsense syllables are used in this activity because remedial readers frequently have extensive sight word vocabularies. A projector is required for this activity. Cut out a card from black construction paper with one corner cut off as a rectangle to isolate each word part. Also cut a bottom flap to slide the card against the screen or projector. Make several of these cards as this is a five week activity. Now follow these directions to teach the Val Transformers. Number one, isolate each syllable on the display. Students say the word part as soon as the syllable is isolated on the display. Number two, use the whole class responses to adjust to the correct pronunciation. Number three, remind students to don't shout, but don't whisper either. Use your six inch voices. Number four, don't state the applicable syllable rule until the whole class has mastered the examples. Number five, mark where you leave off each day to show where to begin instruction the next time. Let's practice some of the vowel transformers. Gleb. 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 The fourth whole class instructional activity is introduced in the 14th week of instruction for both the full year and half year intensive programs. Students practice syllable blending and syllable division for the five weeks at an instructional pace of two or three worksheets per week. Syllable blending and syllable division are whole class activities designed to teach pronunciation, syllabication, and derivational forms. A projector is required for this activity. Use the same card as in the vowel transformers to isolate each word part and cut a bottom flap to slide the card against the screen or projector. Follow these directions to teach the syllable blending and syllable division activities. Number one, isolate each syllable on the display. Students say each isolated syllable. Number two, Isolate the whole word and ask, whole word? Student response, number two. Students say the whole word out loud. Note, require students to pronounce the word exactly as the syllables should be pronounced. If an adjustment is necessary, say adjust. The students respond by correcting the pronunciation and say the word out loud. Number three, say snap and clap. Students snap on the unaccented syllables and clap on the primary accented syllable while saying the word out loud. Let's practice some of the syllable blending. Syllable, free, free. free. syllable, view. view, whole word, preview, preview. snap and clap, preview, preview. preview. Syllable, an. an. Syllable, just. just. Syllable, meant. Men. Men. Whole word, adjustment. Adjustment. Snap and clap. Adjustment. Syllable, a. Syllable, about. about. Whole word. A about, about adjust about. about snap and clap about. about for the syllable division worksheets students print the syllable blending words in the spaces provided then students divide the word into syllables with slash marks and write the accent marks above the primary vowel accents after completion of the worksheet students self correct the syllable and accent marks in another color pen or pencil from the syllable division answers.